Today on this dream spike eye we're taking a look at this amazing new bike from Trek called the Full Stash. This is a new 130 millimeter travel trail bike from Trek running 29 by 3.0 tires. So let's go ahead and take a look at this bike. We'll go over some of the features, find out what it weighs, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. So to get started with this bike, this is made out of Trek's Alpha Platinum Aluminum. So this is a alloy frame with nice smoothed out welds and it's set up in such a way to be able to make this a limitless trail bike for use out on the trail. Now to start off with it, the bike does have a 67.4 degree head tube angle and it's got a 65.9 degree seat tube angle but it actually works out to have an effective seat tube angle of 75.9. And the reason for that is you can see this kink in the back of that seat tube and that's allowing for those gigantic tires. Now going on from that, this bike is set up with Trek's ABP braking pivot. So that's their own technology to be able to do active braking pivot as well as really nice feeling suspension and it's going to go up across to this rocker link here. You'll actually see everything is moved forward of the seat tube, including the lower mount for the shock. So the lower mount is actually pressed up against as the suspension compresses, which is going to allow for quite a bit better pedaling efficiency out of this bike, because with the large 3.0 tires, it's going to have great small bump compliance, but it's really going to want some great performance for climbing. And What's even more neat about that is the chainstay length on this bike is actually 427 millimeters. So that's actually a really short chainstay. I mean, shorter than the Trek Remedy, which is just a standard 27.5 bike. So even with these 29 plus tires, you're going to get some real tight geometry. Now, Trek is also going to spec this up with their knock block head tube. And what that's gonna allow for is, it's actually got a stop to limit the handlebar from spinning all the way around. That allows them to run this straight down tube or straight shot down tube as they call it, allowing for a much stiffer frame. And then finally, in the back of the bike here, you can actually see they've got something called a minnow link. And that allows you to adjust the geometry, allowing you to slacken or steepen the angles on this bike. Now this full stash 8 is set up with a RockShox pike on the front end, so you've got really nice 35 millimeter stanchions, super, super stiff, and then it's going to run a charger damper, so you're going to have plenty of control over the front end of this bike. You're going to be set up with some Guide R brakes, which is a nice brake setup, and then it's also going to be running SRAM's own GX Eagle. So this is 12 speed, 500% range on SRAM's GX Eagle. So a great group set and it's set up with a Truvative Dissident crank set. Now this 12 speed drivetrain is going to give plenty of climbing capability, but you're not going to run out of any speed as you're going down the trail. And they've got it set up with a 30 tooth chain ring up front to keep it able to climb. Now these tires. These are Bontrager XR4s, which are an aggressive trail tire and a 29 by 3.0. And these tires are actually tubeless ready. So you can set these up tubeless on the equipped Sun Ringlet Duroc 40 millimeter 29 inch rims. So great setup for 29 plus on this bike. Finally, they sum this bike up with a dropper seat post. This is the Bontrager drop line seat post. And it's got a nice 1X style actuator. So you can give that a press and you'll see the dropper seat post comes right up. So that's a quick look at the full stash. We're gonna go ahead and place it on a scale and see what it weighs. So we'll see that the full stash eight is gonna come in and weigh a relatively light 34 and change pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Trek Full Stash. Go ahead, let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and please 
Click that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future.